，哈喽，哈喽 ，OK， 呃，俺明亮刘，我们清华 University， 嗯、um, ，advised by Professor 文光晨。And this is a, a co-op with、uh, Professor Ma Xiaosong from North Carolina State University.、Uh, the subject is about the I/O configurability of the、uh, Amazon EC2 cloud. This is the outline. I will give you a short introduction, and、uh, I will, we will discuss the storage system options in the Amazon EC2 and.、Uh, I will show some preliminary results, and、uh, finally, I will conclude、uh, this talk. As the、uh, this is the background, you know, in the HPC application for many HPC applications, the I/O is the、uh, bottleneck because many HPC applications have have intensive I/O operations and、uh, high I/O concurrency. But、uh, you know, in the traditional HPC facilities such as the HPC centers or dedicated local clusters,、uh, they are configured with one size fits all I/O system, so they can not be tuned for one application.、Uh, there is a trend、uh, to migrate those app HPC applications from the traditional HPC facilities to the cloud platform such as the EC2. And the EC2.、Uh, the cloud platforms provide tremendous flexibility、uh, in configuring the I/O system, which can solve the problems we propose.、Uh, the following is、uh, uh, some examples. For example, the、uh, cloud plan platform provides fully controlled virtual machines, so we can build the file system via OAN or We can easily、um, switch between them using、uh, the user script, and、uh, there are multiple types of low-level devices we can employ. So here is the problem: Can we employ the I/O configurability of the cloud for HPC applications? So if the answer is yes,、uh, how can we、uh, solve this question? Uh, the configurability of the cloud、uh, lies in three factors.、Uh, we conclude that the first one is to set up a、uh, file system、uh, per application at this startup. So, and the second one is to explore different types of、uh, underlying devices. Finally, we can tune those file systems we built up and uh, uh, using the inherent parameters. But there are some challenges. The first one is the feasibility of this、uh, configura configuration is highly workload dependent, and it, it depends on the uh, uh, I/O characteristic of the application. Also, there is a trade-off between the、uh, efficiency and the cost effectiveness.、Uh, this slide illustrates the.、Uh, Parameters of the Amazon EC2.、Um, the Amazon has opened up its、uh, uh, SCCI cluster computing instance dedicated for SPC, and、uh, we can use it, it, it to run many SPC applications. There are three、uh, kinds of storage devices. The first one is the ephemeral. And the second one is EDS, Elastic Block Store. And they, they are also、uh, key-value-based objects, database. In、uh, S3, I will show you the pros and cons in the following slides. Okay,、uh, here we go back to the outline, and I will discuss the storage system options one by one. The first one is the file system selection. A、uh, different uh, uh, I/O access pattern. And、uh, concurrency require different kinds of you know file system. For example, we can just uh, uh, spill, uh, build、uh, build a shared file system like NFS, or we we should explore、uh, parallel file system if we want to support the large and shared file rights, especially optimized for the MPI/IO interface. 
also the parallel file system can spill up very well because we can just adding up the number of I/O servers to increase the I/O bandwidth and the capacity to improve the throughput. And uh, we find it, it's very easy to choose those uh, file systems and uh, uh, switch between them at the start time, at the uh, start up. And uh, we wrote about 100 lines of code to build NFS and no more than 200 uh, code to build PVFS. It's quite simple. And the second uh, storage, storage, storage system option is the device selection. Uh, here are some considerations we should take into account when we choose the devices. Uh, the, this table illustrates the pros and cons of those three kinds of devices. Uh, you know, since the S3 is dedicated for internet and database applications, we cannot employ it into uh, uh, its PC applications directly. And uh, the ephemeral one is free, but uh, they are not persistent. The, which data so we, if we want to hold those data that were repeatedly processing, such as the you know searching index, we should put them into EBS. But EBS is not free; they are charged, and uh, we should take into the cost. So the choice depends on the needs of individual applications. So there are no uh, silver bullet, which I can tell you, you should always use this or another. The final one is the file system internal parameters. There are many uh, inherent parameters in one file system. I cannot list them all. There are some you know, very important ones uh, everyone should take into account when you build the uh, file system for your SPC application. For example, the uh, NFS server has a sync mode or a sync mode at the server side. So this is the sync mode. Uh, the next uh, results I will show you uh, why we should take into the, this parameter count seriously. And also here is sorry. Uh, here is the uh, IO server placement. We can place the IO server uh, to the dedicated nodes, which are separate from the computing instances or we can deploy them to the, those part-time ones and overlay with those uh, computer instances without adding up any extra instance to save money. Again, uh, the choice depends on the needs of individual applications. So those primary parameters should be chosen carefully. Okay, here is an example. You can see from this picture that there is one dedicated uh, anti server. The server they not take part in the uh, computing processes, and there are two ephemeral disks mounted. And you can you see in this picture, we deploy the NFS server to the uh, part-time computing nodes. Or we can mount uh, EDS disks. Since the EDS disks uh, can be mounted as many as you want, uh, technically, so we can mount many EDS disks to increase the capacity and uh, the you know bandwidth. Uh, this picture shows one uh, PVFS uh, deployed in one uh, dedicated L server and mounting two event disks. And since the parallel file systems can be uh, skewed uh, by adding the number.